Ronan Farrow has printed another shocking Donald Trump expose in The New Yorker. This time, the subject is Dino Sajidan, a former doorman at Trump Tower who was reportedly paid off by the National Enquirer's parent company, American Media Incorporated, just like Karen McDougal. Dino did not comment for Ronan's piece, but six current and former employees of AMI say that the ex-Trump employee made claims in 2015 that the now president fathered a love child in the 80s. Ronan's sources say Dino provided the names of the alleged mistress and child to the Inquirer, and was then allegedly paid $30,000 so the mag could have exclusive rights to the information, i.e., Dino could not go public with them anywhere else. It's important to note that no evidence has been uncovered to back up allegations of a Trump love child, and the story was denied by the Trump Organization. The alleged mother and child did not comment, and the father of the family said the allegations were completely false and ridiculous. However, this adds another person to the list of those allegedly paid off by AMI, whose CEO has publicly confirmed a friendship with Trump, to try and bury secrets about the 70-year-old. Dino's contract with the company reportedly included a million-dollar penalty if he came forward with any information about Trump without permission from AMI. As previously reported, Karen was reportedly paid $150,000 by AMI in 2016 to keep quiet about her alleged affair with Trump. Plus. Stormy Daniels was also reportedly given $130,000 by Trump's lawyer, Michael Cohen, to not talk about her alleged affair with the president. Ronan's six sources on the Dino story are all skeptical about the truth behind Dino's love child claims. However, they are adamant that AMI made sure to shut down the story one way or the other. Dino did pass the inquirer's lie detector test, but that only found that he was being truthful about hearing the love child rumor, not that the actual rumor was true. AMI's online publication, Radar Online, confirmed Dino's allegations in an article published April 11, and even acknowledged the $30,000 payout. However, the Inquirer's editor-in-chief said that Dino was released from his exclusivity cause once the magazine decided there was not enough sufficient proof that the doorman's 